Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Anita Bush, welcome to the Valder BB Show. How are you? Good. How are you? I am fine. I want my audience to know that Anita Bush is president and co-founder of Victims First and the co-founder of the National Compassion Fund. And she's mm-hmm. entering the Valder BB Show studios to discuss this subject I know that you're talking about in your homes, mass shootings. Because it seems like a weekly uh, mass shooting seems like a weekly event. But she has some information about supporting the victims and their families. Anita, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. Thank you for inviting me. First of all, to set the table for uh, the scene for my audience, can you share your personal story and how you got involved in this mission? Because this is a this is a big mission. It is. It's, it's needed, too. And I found out, unfortunately, 10 years ago when my cousin was murdered in a mass shooting in Aurora, Colorado, in the theater uh, during the midnight showing of The Dark Knight Rises. And we learned that there were very few resources. There was very few people to really understood what to do after a mass shooting in communities. And people, well, meaning people who wanted to help. And um, then, like, unbelievably, um, in 2017, another family member, Stacy, survived a mass shooting by running from her, for her life at Vegas um, as, you know, bullets were, like, whizzing past her head. So we've had two in my family, two mass shootings in my family, and so this is an extremely personal mission for me. So when this hits home, is it different when there's another mass shooting for you than it is for people just sitting watching the, you know, the, the national news? Oh, yeah. It, it, um, it makes you relive the day that you were searching. It makes you relive. It makes you relive it. It's very, um, brings up a lot of PTSD. It's very difficult. Um, you relive it every time. And you just know what the families are going through. And your heart aches. Your body aches for them because you know the path. It's tough. I'm so sorry that anyone has to walk this path. I really, really am. How important is it for you to to be involved in this work, especially when you have such a connection? You know, it, it's difficult, but it's vitally important because we are providing our Victims First is made up of over 20 years of mass shooting victims and the, and families of the deceased catastrophically injured, those who were shot, those who were injured, and those who survived. So we have a unique perspective. We have the perspective that is needed to help victims when it happens in a community that has never experienced it before. And we carry the, the victim's perspective of what helps and what harms. So it's, you know, it's vital. Why is it vital or why is it important for us to remember these mass shootings? It's important to remember the victims. These are families that have been destroyed across our country. We are all Americans. At Victims First, we don't care if you're red or blue. If you've gone through a mass shooting and you're suffering, we're going to help you. And we will help I mean, we're helping, there's a kid who's gone through 20, 20 surgeries and can't pay his bills. We step in and we take care of those bills. In Uvalde, we are helping people stay on their feet financially. We are the, the light in the darkness. We are the hand that reaches out and says, take our hand. We're going to help. We've, we've navigated it before. We're going to just follow our light. We're going to bring you through this and you're going to 
through for communities and victims. To my audience, I want them to really, really understand. So when a mass shooting occurs, and they're saying about on an average seven a day are now occurring in America. So when we see it on TV, when all the media surrounds it, when they embark upon the town where the mass shooting is and they interview everybody that they can, and eventually these interviews go away, eventually it fades from the TV screen. This is everyone's problem, especially in America. How can we be a part of the solution? We can, when, when people donate, when you donate your hard-earned wages, make sure that it's going directly to victims. That's very important. Um, please make sure that it's going directly to victims. A lot of times um, nonprofits will collect and the victims don't see any of those funds and any of those resources. And um, that's, that's a very important thing. Also, you know, when you're talking about it, be sensitive to the language. Some people will say, oh, I'm sorry, you lost your daughter. No, you didn't lose your daughter in a mass shooting. She was taken from you. She was stolen from you. She was murdered. Um, language is important. Calling it an anniversary, it's something to celebrate. We, we prefer year marks or, re, or the year remembrance is a very nice way to, to, say, to say things. So um, there's very different ways that, that people can help. But truly make sure that when you're giving that you know where your dollar is going. That's that's. Where can we give, Anita, before, before I lose you? Yeah, um, victimsfirst.org. We have a general victims fund that goes 100%. Every penny that goes in there goes out to mass shooting victims when they need it. And also we have an admin fund that helps us continue our operations to be on the ground to help communities organize in the best interests of victims without re-victimizing them. So victimsfirst.org. That, that would be amazing if people wanted to help. Yes, thank you. Hey, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcast, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB's Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books. Books that inspire me, and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next Beebe Summer Book Giveaway.